Thank you, Brett, for that introduction. <laughs> the topic I wanted to speak on today is a topic that I'm very interested in, very passionate about, and involves the cloud. And I'm not going to get into any technical details or how to program, how to call out certain classes, certain code. I've already heard a few comments between you know Paul and Brett and, and Mike with some questions that I, I think I understand the terms, but I don't understand exactly what they're talking about. But I wanted to at least touch on my story, my involvement on where I was with Windows Azure, where I am now, and where I hope to be in the future. So for those who might not know, Windows Azure, as I understand, is Microsoft's new cloud offering. They're competing with companies like Amazon, companies like Rackspace, that are introducing these services that are hosted out on you know, large servers, large platforms. And most of us here as, as developers, we've been involved in, you know, the cloud for a number of years. I have a friend that does object database and he's like, we've been doing the cloud for, you know, decades. It wasn't called the cloud, but we had distributed databases. They were communicating to each other over the net and uh, customers were grabbing their data from geolocated sites and everything else. So uh, it's, it's new, but it's something that's been around for a while. And my story with Azure probably started you know, at least a couple of years ago at Mix, I remember, um, and I had probably heard about it before then, but I was sitting at breakfast with some people that had actually been trying to use it, and I thought, this is kind of neat. I tried to sign up. I couldn't really figure anything out. I couldn't log in. It seemed like I had to be on a waiting list. Some stuff was, this was, I think, 2010, the spring of 2010. But, you know, I gave it a try, and, you know, I, I thought it was pretty cool, and kept an eye on it. So fast forward a couple of years to last, March, I believe, there was a boot camp that I went to, and this time I actually was able to connect. I got things set up. Everything's going great. I spent, you know, a lot of time the night before getting to 2010, all the plugins, everything correctly installed. Uh, had a little hiccup with SQL Server, but, you know, things connected. Things were things were really working. Uh, so I was quite happy about that. Um, my next step in the journey, you know, I've been keeping an eye on it watching how things are progressing. And recently, I had a client that's sort of looking into building a site, building an application. He wants some advice on, well, what should I do? How should we host this thing? What should we, you know, I, I like Amazon. Amazon sounds really cool. I've heard a lot about that in the news. And so I'm kind of, I, I'm, I'm a big fan of Microsoft, so I don't have a hard time being sold on it, and I want to try to try to give him some ideas. So I've, I've dug back in again, and I'm looking at it, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. So that's sort of my current position is that I'm getting reconnected again. I'm getting, you know, getting back into it. And I was hoping to show you on the screen because if you go to windowsazure.com, at least since the last time I've been there, they've got some really cool Silverlight applications. They've got some uh, displays that show exactly what components make up micro what components make up Windows Azure. There's of course, you have to have computing instances. There's basically four things. Computing instances, database storage, blob storage, and bandwidth. With those four things, you can build a pretty compelling cloud-based application. And, and uh, I think they've done a pretty good job of organizing that into something that I, as, a, as an application developer, can understand. So if I have my client that's asking me, well, I've heard about Rackspace, I've heard about Amazon, I've heard about Windows Azure. You know, what do I do? I think of that LeBron James commercial. Anybody seen that a few years ago? Or a couple years ago, when he's trying to decide to leave the Cleveland Cavaliers. Well, what do I do? <laughs> do I use Amazon? What do I do? <laughs> so, in my, in my opinion, this is just kind of my instinctive application developer experience. I'm, I'm not an IT guy. I don't know how to, I mean, I kind of know. I can power up servers. I can you know, create domains, that kind of thing. But I don't really like it. I want to develop an application. So Rackspace seems to me like they're, they're hardware guys that are coming into the cloud space. Amazon, I mean, they're like a big mall that sells stuff coming into the cloud space. Um, I instinctively just kind of like Microsoft because they're software guys. They're digital guys that you know, now that they've, they've sort of built a great operating system used by millions and billions of people, and 
they're moving an operating system into the cloud space where I don't need to worry about the hardware. I can just write my application, shove it up into the cloud, and, you know, God willing, everything is going to work without any uh, any errors or or debugging, which I know isn't true. But <laughs> So that's kind of my current situation. I'm really hoping to dig a little bit more into this, into the uh, latest latest rendition of, of Azure with what seems to me like they've, they've made a lot of progress since, you know, May 2010 when I first started really digging in and looking at it. And I think you can really build some great compelling applications. So thank you, fellow Toastmasters, and that's all we have for today.